Hi everybody, so I am back. Um, I'm working on my room box that I have right here. This was from Dollar Tree. I got this as a gift and I decided to upgrade her, upgrade her. This is a great way to, if you're interested in doing dollhouse miniatures and you want to create something that's not going to take up a lot of space, can sit up on a wall, it's not going to sit on a table or anything, and you can see if you can wrap your head around it and see if you really and truly like it. This is a great way to do it. Um, as you could tell right here, the depth is only like the size of the top of my finger up to right there at the top of my finger. I can bend it um, so it won't take, take up too much space. Go see part one if you want to see how I made this... Um, all of this right here, including the table, all that is made out of basically paper, paper and chipboard, okay? And using the paints I have here at home. Now this is a picture, and I've been hunting, I kid you not, for two days for the right picture for this room scene. And I decided, because I have a bunch of books that I buy from the thrift store that have seen better days, um, this came out of an art book. And I like this France Post um, 1612 to 1680 um, photo. This, let me bring it up closer to you. It says from 1637 to 1644, Post accompanied the retinue of Prince Johann Marutz of Nassau, seeking to Brazil, where he painted the landscape around, what is that, Pernambuco? and on a number of oceanic islands, as well as gender scenes of local life. This Dutch artist's sensitivity to specific situations, landscape, and people make post-Brazilian paintings an, an invaluable source of information regarding not only the flora and the fauna of the region, but also the dress and customs of the time. And it continues on. So this is the one that I chose. And this is the frame that I chose in my other video. So I'm going to cut this out. Okay. And it's going to go up on my wall in my room box. Like, again, you know, I buy a lot of um, items from, like, thrift stores and what have you, secondhand books. And most of them I've seen better days, but I'm looking for pictures that I can use in my dollhouses. And this is a great way to do it. So I'm just cutting it out. I've already glued it to the paper per se. Okay. at her. Oh, it looks pretty good. Right here is like a little bit. There we go. Alright. So I'm just taking a peek at her and just straighten it up just a little bit. I mean, this is just for my viewing pleasure. It's not a gift or anything. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to Right here and put the information down on it in the back. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. And I'm going to put this on the back of my, um, on the back of my holder so I can remind myself of what I cut out and what the picture represents. And then I'm going to use these pictures for something else so I don't throw those away. I keep those, okay? So this will go in the back of here, okay? Right, I'll just try to put it right there in the center. I'll make a fit and then I'll glue it down so I can remember what it was. So that'll go right there. Now let's go ahead and put this down. I'm just going to use some double sided sticky tape. But I think first what I might want to do is I'm going to put it somewhere right there. I love how the color pops. 
I love, love, love how that color pops. What do you guys think? Yeah, against the blue and then the black. Ah, uh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I think I want it a little bit higher like that. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So then let me cut some of this off right here. And that was the picture that was in the back of that sheet. So that's not anything I would have had used. So I'm okay with not having it available for me to use later. I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm just using double-sided sticky tape because it'll make it stick up just a little bit, not too much. Put it right there. And a little chuck right here. Okay. There we go. Now, let me see how quickly I could take this plastic off. Normally, it takes me forever to get the plastic off from the opposite side. And that's what usually takes me the longest, but sometimes I surprise myself when I'm actually able to catch it and pull it off like I am right now. So hopefully I'm not jinxing myself and I can continue to use it readily fast. There we go. Wow. I am a lucky ducky today. Normally it's a lot harder to get this plastic off. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to get our picture. If you haven't already started yours and then we're going to gauge it. I'm going to gauge it this way because I kind of want to put it over the table as well, but I still want it a little bit high. Okay. So that's where I want it. What do you guys think? Beautiful, right? Ah, it looks great. Okay, now what we're going to do, and it is, oh my gosh, it is a little crooked. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to pull it back up, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. It's okay because it's my room scene. All right. I'm going to see what I can pull from here to work with in that room scene. Okay, so let me, oh, I'm trying to get ideas of what I want to use here. Give me a second, you guys. Um, hmm. I'm just looking through it. I'm looking through there. I think I wanted to use, I know some items moved around. Yeah, some of them moved around. It's okay. I know I kind of wanted to have something like this in there. Some some of these little floral things that I bought from Hobby Lobby. But I also have some other florals. I was figuring maybe something on the floor would be cool to use. But I'm trying to figure out what this one kind of looks good. Just playing around with what I have. Okay, I'm thinking one of those two will probably look good. Okay, let me flip this over. Okay, I gotta make sure that that's flipped properly here. Okay, I don't want nothing to fall out. Okay. see um i don't know if i can use a little stool in here because this is a pretty thin one maybe to prop one of that one of those flowers up but i think that'll be too redundant i might be able to use something like this on a table as a decor piece um maybe i can use this on the floor instead on the bottom, but it looks pretty on the table too. 
Okay, I'm still looking. I do have a lot of these, but I don't want that. I think I kind of know the type of look that I want here. Okay, let me see. Okay. I know you guys are taking a peek at everything that I have. I hope you're enjoying taking a little sneak peek at all the little goodies that I have that I can consider for this room scene. Um, I also have this one that's really pretty. Oh wow, that would look really nice on there. That would look absolutely gorgeous actually. But then when I put that on top and mess it up, yeah it would. But this pop of color looks really nice on there. Okay, I'm just playing around with it you guys. I definitely like that vase right there. Definitely like that, but it's like I want something on top. And I'm trying to use what I have here in front of me. don't want any of the clocks. That's from my Raggedy Ann room. Um, this flower is not going to work because that's a different kind. I don't want to use that in there. I already did a picture. This, this is beautiful. There's a handmade it's an artisan piece as well. If it's too dark, I don't want to use anything too dark. That one has a little thing to it. Yeah, as you can tell, some of these pieces moved around. It happens. Okay, so I'm going to consider these. And I'm going to see what I can do with them. Make sure that's closed up good so nothing falls out. Very good. All right. I'm thinking this on the floor, but I need to get rid of this. So this I got from Hobby Lobby, and it looks like a cacti. Oh, I forgot to put this back in there. This is like curtains. These are like fabric curtains that I made, like this. As you could tell, I used like paper, like you know, cardboard paper. Then I folded the fabrics over to make it almost look like a um, like a blind a little bit, but a fabric one, and then it has that little detail to it. So I made that kind, and then I made this kind that can go on a window as well if I wanted it to go on a window. All right, let me put that there on the side. Let me take care of this little thing here I definitely don't want this white piece to be showing and that is very prevalent that's what the, I didn't like about these in particular pieces that they had these white pieces underneath they don't make it easy to take it off but they're so cute because they're all paper you know I mean like, it's like the most coolest thing ever and you don't have to make it okay I think that's good right there all right now my picture is a little bit crooked like I said just a little see it's a little bit crooked I'm trying to look at it from this angle because of the way I had to do it it's just a little bit it's not that bad okay so I'm thinking I want to put this somewhere here around the floor where is my paste okay I got some of these from um the Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Brush on Gloss Glaze. Uh, I got these from Amazon. I didn't do a didn't do a video for it, but okay. And then this is the museum wax that I like to use. Okay, and it's called Quick Hold 13 Museum Wax by Crystal Crystalline Clear Professional Choice. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm using today. So I'm digging some up as you can tell right here. And I am going to, that's a, that's a lot, I don't need that much for there. I'm going to put some here to hold the pot, 
just a really beautiful blue and white piece right there. I think I probably actually need more than that. Okay. Normally you play around with it a little bit. I'm not really trying to play around with it too much because it makes my fingers sticky. Okay, then I, I was considering maybe putting some of these plants down here, possibly one up here, and then this right there, but maybe that one down there, they can go side by side, or I know I'm playing around with it and you guys can't really see it, okay, because I have it sitting up so I can have a better view of it, which is not good for you. <laughs> Let me see if I can make it stand up this way so at least you guys have an idea of what I'm trying to do. There. Now you have an idea of what I'm doing. Okay. So I kind of like, like that one there. I know there's something I like to put on top. I know it's not this little plate. It's not, but I definitely want to put that there. Maybe move that back some. Okay. So let me move some of this wax. Okay. I'm going to move this wax a little bit. And let me get a tissue and try to pick that wax up because this is black, so you'll be able to see a lot. And maybe put it over here towards the end, right up against there. Okay, that looks nice. Try to hold it. Then I'm going to put a little plate right next to it, right up against the wall. Okay. And I can switch this around, you guys. You know, you don't have to keep this as such. This is just for now but as I go through my things I can update it and change it and add more and add less and I could do things like that and now I'm going to keep this one right there because I really like this it's a beautiful pottery piece it's like artisan made I definitely need to have enough wax for this right here that's just a little bit more on a delicate side it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. As you can tell, it's gorgeous. It's artisan made. Very delicate. Okay. Well, I'm going to put her right there. Okay, then I'm going to add some wax to this. Right here on the bottom of the flowers. Here we go. I want that to stick. Just like so, right here in the corner. Make sure it looks the way I want it to look. Okay. I want to be careful with the flowers. I don't want to smush them because they are they are made out of uh, paper. And I'm going to use this pot right here. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to use this little pot here right on the floor next to that for a pop of color and to give it a little bit more you know you know okay and now I wouldn't mind putting like a little bell pull right here creating a bell pull but I feel that I, I want to put something on here I just don't know what it is yet I'm looking around to see if there's anything well I could have had I could have had put, actually, I could have had put that there. But it goes above the picture. See what I'm saying? If I had put her there in the middle. Yeah, no, it goes above the picture. I think it takes away from the picture. It's, it's really, it looks really pretty, but I think the picture needs to be a little bit higher for that but I think I'm going to leave it just as so okay so this is what it looks like here's the finished product um, I think it looks really great as you can see 
I have the florals right here. That was from Hobby Lobby. This was from Timu. I made all this out of paper and a Dollar Tree little picture. And I got these from Timu as well. This was given to me as a gift. Um, I showed you how to make the picture. The frame came from Timu and a paper came from a paper stack from Shein. Um, and I used, you know, I, I showed you how to do this faux wood background. You can use this as wood flooring. I just used it on a wall. Then I gave it a little bit of a trim. So this is, I think I love this. I love the way it looks. I hope you guys can see it well. I think it looks really pretty in presentation with the contrast of the wood, the table, and the picture. I really like it. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased. So I think I'm good for now. I, I want to add something here on top, but as I go through my things, I'll add things to it and maybe I'll come back with little updates. So I hope you guys enjoyed doing a super simple project, very easy on the budget, and doesn't take up a lot of space. Take care. Bye.